We're back at Dobby Garage, and uh, we got two goats we're doing today. Uh, this is a 2004 GTO. We're doing uh, a cam and header install. Um, we already took the radiator out. Um, now we're trying to take the crank off. It's gonna get real impact after. Yeah, we had to get that. What do you call it? BBI, the big black impact. Yeah, the BBI. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna take the, uh, the cam out and uh, put some headers on it. What brand of the headers do you know? Ah, uh, they're just pace headers. Pace setter headers. Okay. Um, so stay tuned. So everyone bitches about these harmonic balancers not coming off. Dobby's got the tool. The right tool. He's got the right tool. He's got the know-how. Take it off with an air ratchet. Air ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> but it's facing the right direction. <laughs> But there's the tabs that it rotates. Oh, and yeah, fits I got on. you. Cool. So, good stuff. Yeah. Where did we get it off on my GTO? Yeah, I see the dot. So, we're just going to turn it until it's straight up. And now, look at the cam. Look at the dot on the cam. Oh, we're lined up. You see how the two uh -huh. are lined up? Yep. So, since they're lined up, now Top we're good. Top dead center? Yep. Now we can yank it. can yank it. Good stuff. I like BTR better anyways than Texas Speed. So they all have their own cams they make? Okay, so there's some... Are you time lapsing or what? No, we're, we're, we're live, baby. Um, there is some mess between Texas Speed and LG Motorsports and supposedly Texas Speed stole cams. To, I don't know. But yes, they all have their own cams that they say that are proven to do this and that. But they're probably almost identical. Like one degree of, different. A lot of them are real close. Of duration so, or something. Uh, I mean, there's only so okay, much you can, can do. 10 millimeter again. Right? I mean, it's it's uh, not the, like... Full bolts? You got the, the camera shaft for tenor plate. We got it's not camera. proprietary. I mean... I'm yeah. sure. I mean, I'm sure they have like you know two marks on this specific duration and lift and all that. But. I don't know how it works, but I mean, a lot of them, you know, some of those guys have actually, you know, made and designed their own cam setting, you know, cam specs, and you know, like because all the off-the-shelf cams were originally a custom cam for somebody. It's yeah. just they were found that they were they they were proven to work pretty good on on most cars. I think we might need to flex it. Just got to turn it, baby. It's uh, this rubber gasket kind of seals, seals to it. Uh, now, don't you have to like air up? You did something with the chambers. I thought you. You put air into the spark when plugs. When we're gonna do the valve ring. Oh, okay, I got you. But right now, you could just yank the cam out. No, we have to pull the we have to pull the uh, valve covers off and get the uh, rocker arms unbolted, and, and then, then pull it, the push rods out. Got you. Then we'll Trouble turn. Plugs. We'll rotate the cam, which will pull the lifters, push the lifters away, and then. Uh, we use the dowel rods, the wooden dowel rods to hold, make sure they don't fall, and then pull the camshaft out. Dope. Just these two bolts to get the throttle body out? Yeah, we gotta take these. Man, look, he changes the oil again. Nice. Valve cover get, uh, valve covers are off. Look at that. Nice. Y'all should have seen that black truck back there, the one that we crushed the headlights on. <laughs> yeah. When I pulled the valve covers off on the dude, it was completely just filled with sludge. Ew. It was so bad. Yeah, he never did his oil rip. Yeah, it was the one that went like... 20,000 with the same oil change. Good shit. Dang, this Dang. kiddo's got both valve covers off. Look at that. Dang, Elvin. So since this car is getting headers, we are taking off the exhaust all the way to uh, back here. We got mid pipes over here, three inch mid pipes. On the so um, just taking exhaust off, nothing, nothing complex here. Uh, hopefully we get it off quick and easy. All right, so exhaust is off, now we're gonna get the header. So Elvin's uh, taking the spark plug wires off. Um, and after that, then we can, uh, I think, uh, the rock arms? Yep. We'll get those and then uh, pull, the, pull the cam. 
We got the passenger side headers out. Um, no Alvin. Headers are just hanging. Yeah, we just got it hanging. We got these like two bolts hanging it up so it didn't drop. Um, we're gonna take those out. Hey, it would be suck if we didn't take the uh, plugs out. You got it. Do you take the plugs out on this side too, Artie? It's loose. I just it's like it's still in the hole. Hold on, Alvin. We're stuck on the headers. I mean, we're we're gotta be there. It is. It's loose. So to get the pace setter headers in, we have to take off these four bolts that hold this, I don't even know, supporting bracket in, um, cause they go right where the headers need to go. So we take that off on this side, take one off on that side too. Um, and I'm just taking the plugs out so that they fit in there. Nice and pretty without breaking any plugs. All right, we're live. So everything you do, somebody's gonna document you. You gotta pick that up. I'm gonna have to go underneath. Everything you do. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, so I skipped the dowel rod. So if we drop one, we just added another day to our labor. It ain't no we. <laughs> you, got, you got one day of labor here. Wait, y'all aren't coming back tomorrow? No, sir. The girl I'm talking to, I gotta do her uh, front yeah. rotors and pads on a Toyota Corolla. How's she pay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bad. You got some. Cam, you lube? I'm just waiting to hear the the clunk of. Oh. So you don't have to lube that up or nothing? Nope. Dang. I'll be doing everything by the book. It is by the book. How are you gonna put? If I lube it up and then I push it through the bushy and it's just gonna wipe all the lube back off. Don't worry. We're gonna turn the motor over with no spark plugs in it. It'll pump oil up there. If you had to work on the world's fastest production sedan parked outside, no way it would start up. After My, you're done. I don't have little Chinese small hands that could fit in there and do it. Dang, go. nice. Dunkies. Let me see it. Yeah, do the belly thing. Oh. Stick the belly yeah. out. Yeah. Here, let me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we missed a lot. What, Elvin? Uh, no, no. We got the pa uh, passenger side headers in with the uh, mid pipes. We got the cam in. We got the cam gear on. Um, now we got to get the driver side headers on. Uh, so we drop down the rack and pinion, and then they're gonna fit right in there. And uh, you got me making stupid faces holding the big fat camshaft. Oh, now he's getting me. You know, uh, how big was it, John? It's so big. <laughs> so big. All right. Yeah. Do this one more again. Ooh. Ooh. We're getting closer. Actually, not where exactly the same spot we were last time. Why is it a new way? Yeah, grab them, grab them. You got them. And we're in. Oh, you're right there, boss. We're so close. There she is. Yeah. All right, now drop right. that down. Good shit. We're pushing against the dang transmission. So there we go. I would hate my transmission lines being that close. There's a reason I always did these on sticks. We'll have to maybe extend those lines now. Um, let's run it down and put a couple of the bolts in. Got the headers uh, torqued down. Alvin's putting on this water, water, water pump, pump, right? Yeah, water pump. Um, Coming a long way. We gotta go and get us some uh, push rods. For some reason, Dobby thought he had them and we don't have them, so gotta get some push rods and uh, everything else is coming along pretty good. Yes. Dang, Elvin's got the throttle body on. Dobby's taking the masking tape off over there. We're talking mad crap about female rappers over here. And Dobby doesn't like female rappers because they're demasculating them. Yeah. Right down there is the power steering line? Yeah, one of them. And Dobby's trying to get it in. Oh, I got it in, it just takes forever. With crow's feet. I hope you can see it. Oh yeah, I can see it. Dope. Look at this guy. I'm working hard. Dang, look at that crack. Y'all like that, don't you? <laughs> to the refrigerator. So um, kind of, so we got the power steering lines on. That car uh, there. Both of them. Um, I don't know, we got the accessory belt on, water pump on, now we just gotta do the uh, radiator and then um, springs, plugs, push rods, but 
We don't have those on hand right now, unfortunately. Keep saying that. Unfortunately. Dobby, heard, Dobby dropped the ball. I know that I dropped the ball. The GTO doesn't use power steering fluid.